Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video, I just wanted to show you a way to speed up Chrome extension development. So when building a Chrome extension, we often have to reload the extension using the extensions management page. So say we have our service worker over here and we change this to, hi, how are you doing? To see this reflected, we have to go to the Chrome extensions management page and then reload it. And then we can see the changes here, for example, in the service worker. And so reloading an extension like this can slow down development and just lead to a poor developer experience. And luckily for us, Chrome provides us with the commands API to make this process much quicker, even automated. And just as a side note, this is a snippet from my Chrome extension course, which you can find linked in the description, where you will basically learn all kind of tricks like this and just how to build any kind of Chrome extension. But let's continue with this. So what I was talking about was the commands API. And the Chrome Commands API is basically used to add keyboard shortcuts that trigger actions. And we are going to use the Commands API to create a keyboard shortcut to reload our extension. And so to use the Commands API, we first have to register it in a manifest.json file. So under permissions, zoom in one more, we just need to add the commands permission. And what we also do is we need to create this command in our manifest.json file. So here is our command, we called it reload. Then we, we set the suggested key to be default control shift E and on Mac command shift E. And so essentially what this does now is when we press command shift E or control shift E, it will run or run a command called reload. And we can then handle this command inside our service worker. So inside here, the way we can handle this is like most Chrome APIs, it's just tagged onto the Chrome object. So it'll be chrome.commands and then we can do on command and then add listener. And if the shortcut is equal to reload, then we're gonna use the Chrome runtime API to reload the extension. And that's really all it takes. So now what we need to do is just reload this one more time manually. And now let's say we do console.log, hello there. And instead of reloading manually, all you have to do is press command shift E and we can see it listed here instantly. So how are you doing? Save it and then Make sure you're on focus on the service worker or content script, whatever you're working on, just run the command and we see it updates. And just one quick note is we are placing this listener on the service worker because one, the commands API is not available in content scripts and it is available in the pop-up, but the pop-up of course would need to be open to receive the command. So it's best to have service workers which run in the background to handle this. And once again, you will learn all this stuff and more from my course where I'll take you through everything you need to know to build a Chrome extension. But hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.